Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome back to Earthbound Zero. Now last time we did Duncan's Factory, and I, uh, I said I'd meet you guys back here after I got a magic hand. Um, and today, we're actually going to, well, so the whole point of going to Duncan's Factory is, um, so we could, oh no, this enemy. Okay, this is the enemy I was so worried about, uh, when I first ran through this area. This is the Maniac Truck. Uh, and that's exactly what I was worried about. The puff of exhaust gas, um, it does a lot of damage, it lowers your stats, and it can give your main character um, asthma. I think, oddly, only Nintendo can get asthma, though. And then asthma basically makes you completely useless in this game. You cannot do anything. It's pretty much paralysis, and now I'm going to keep running to encounters because of this. Oh, goodness, so here's where the cars were in the last episode. <laughs> they were all waiting here. I'm going to have myself run because I really can't do anything else. Um, let's see. Also, um, yeah, let's try a laser beam. I'll do it. Let's see how much this does. Uh-oh. Okay. So yeah, these two enemies are very, very dangerous. How much is this gonna do? That's alright. Alright. I'm gonna keep trying to run with you. Just because he really can't do anything else. Like, he, I don't- he literally cannot do anything else while he has the status ailment. Uh, let's go fix that real quick, then. Oh, goodness. Okay. You actually do need some money for, um, what we're gonna be doing next. So, basically, I- you basically just need, um, about a hundred. So make sure you have a hundred, uh, a hundred dollars before going to the next area. I think the actual number you need is, like, seventy-two or something, but I always give- I like to bring a hundred just in case. Oh, goodness, and I just got back, uh, from healing, too. This is kind of t terrible, actually. <laughs> I'll keep that in, though. I did want to show that enemy at some point, anyway. Alright, let's, um... I think I'll try to, like, go up this way. I'll try to go, like, straight up so I don't run into encounters as often. Because I don't want to run into too many of those things. Yeah, that's a little better. Man, that was an encounter. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the, the cars in, like, the trucks enemies, in terms of, like, raw design, maybe some of my favorite in the game. Like, <laughs> I don't know why, but there's something really fine to me about, like, an evil car that comes to life. Like, <laughs> it's... Ugh. Alright, let's, let's move on. Now, the reason why we went to Duncan's factory is, uh, well, we saw a pile of rocks blocking the exit. Well, here's the rocket right here. There's no problem with it, but, <laughs> yeah, it was, um, blocking that area, and now it can go through. I don't know why I'm following the tracks. I don't think that actually, like, gets you encounters less often or something, but, nah, eh, whatever. Okay, so this is where we need to be next. I heard on the radio that, um, that it's a mess everywhere. At all costs, I will protect this station. Okay, now you want to go to Reindeer first. Now keep my- oh good, that's fast. Oh wait, can I speed that up? No, I can't, oddly. Huh, I can't speed this up, or I can't make this go into double speed. That's kind of strange. So, something I find kind of cool, or kind of interesting, is that um, it actually does count like per character. Like the, um, the feet actually go on the train. Now, I believe you can actually run through this tunnel as, um, like, without the train. However, the monsters in this tunnel are extremely dangerous. And you're seeing how, um, how, uh, how long it is just by this. Like, that's actually how long it is if you try to run through it normally. So just, just save yourself a ton of trouble and just take the train. Okay. Now, we're not actually going to do anything in Reindeer. Instead, we need to talk to you. Are you going to Snowman? Yes. I found this hat. I believe it's the property of a girl who lives there. Please take it to her. So, she's going to leave. And um, if we look in our inventory, uh, we got... Uh, where is it? There it is. We got a hat. A pretty hat in um, in um, by the name Anna. So, that hat belongs to Anna. And that's another one of the characters we had... Um, uh, we, uh, we had to name it the very start of the game. Okay, so now we're going to Snowman. Alright, and now we just gotta wait for the long ride to get there. I 
I like this song too. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've mentioned this yet, but this game, like, I really like the soundtrack to this game. And here we are. Oh, when you Smash Brothers fans might recognize this song. Uh, this is um one of the one of the mother remixes. Okay, now the actual town of Snowman is at the very end of this corridor. <clears throat> And you can run into some extremely strong enemies on the way there. I, I honestly should have grinded a little bit, but whatever. Uh, let's see, what can we do? Hmm. You know, I'm gonna use this. Oh, I'm actually faster than them. Yeah, I don't want to fight four of these things. I can, like, one or two I can do, but not not all four. The enemies you can find here are very strong, like I said. Okay, one we can... Lone Wolf. <laughs> it's... Again, I love the names in this game. Now, something I didn't realize before is that, um... The, um... Oh, he's actually faster. Something I didn't realize before is that, um... The bombs actually deal double damage to, um... To ice enemies. And all the enemies in this upcoming area are ice enemies. So if you want to dispose of your bombs, now would be a good time. I'm probably going to be using uh, Life Up Alpha um, in between every battle, too. Okay, let's keep moving. Every few steps is progress. Um, you know, honestly, this isn't even the most dangerous enemy here. I won't use too much of these. Yeah, but like, it's doing 30 damage. That is quite a lot. That didn't even kill it. I did more last time, though. I wonder how much health this enemy does have. Oh, boy. Alright, please kill. That did one damage. Wow. Okay, maybe I am underleveled now. Um, hmm. He can survive one more hit. I mean, Lloyd can, not, not the wolf. I hope the wolf can't survive one more hit. Okay, let's um go back to PSI. Life up. There we go. I might use it again. We have plenty of PSI. Hmm, can we do a three? You know, I'm gonna try it. Nice. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to see. I'd imagine the Silver Wolves are less deadly than the Lone Wolf. Because, you know, you, you fight them in groups. Man, like, 60, 60 plus damage to all enemies is pretty good. That should do it. There we go. Okay. Oh, perfect. I don't really care what increases right now. As long as everything goes up by one, I'm fine. Okay, we're finally in the town. Now, normally I like to talk to everyone in town. Um, the guide I'm reading, though, states that several characters here can actually give you a cold if you talk to them, similar to that kid back at the elementary school. And that's because, um, this town is sort of having, like, a cold problem right now. Like, um, like, a lot of people are, like, are, like, getting colds. Hmm. Kinda reminds me of, um, of, a uh, Golden Sun, actually, the whole, like, subplot involving Mia. Now, we can't actually go- I, we can't go any of those houses. We can go in this one, though. Let's see what's in here. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not gonna risk it. This is your dad. Excuse me, I need to see the person playing this game. Wait, what? Hello there. I appreciate uh, your kindness uh, to Game Dog. I am the boy's dad. Could you please let me know your name? Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, goodness. Like, <laughs> yes. I keep forgetting that, um, okay, I know they do this in, um, in Earthbound as well. They want you to, like, put in, like, your actual name or something. 
Um, how do I do, um, lowercase? Can I do lowercase? I'm not seeing an option for it. Huh, okay. I guess I'll just be game dog in all caps then. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you know, they give you like 30 characters there. I wonder if they like, um, like you're playing this game as a kid. Um, okay, this is a little bit of a spoiler. I, I honestly, I don't remember what the full name or what the, um, the name you given is meant to do in this game, but I know in Earthbound, um, they sneak that in at the credits at the very end, and during the finale where you fight the final boss. They give you like 30 characters though, and um, they sneak that in during the credits, which makes me kind of think that you're supposed to put in like your full name or something. You know, like how, how everyone always has their full name in the credits of, the, of these games, so I guess it would only make sense. And I'm, I'm fine just putting in Game Dog though. Also, nearly 80 damage to one of these is really good. Oh, we are getting very lucky against the Polar Bear. Nice, okay. Also, Polar Bear, that's a recolor that makes sense. Like, because <laughs> that's an actual animal. Ugh. Leave it to a game like this to teach you that there are even, like, RPG recolors in real life. Like, <laughs> it is. Uh, this I don't want to deal with. Thankfully, I think I'm fast in all of these. Oh, whoops. Also, I don't think there's actually a healing spot in this town, so be very careful here. Like, don't be afraid to use a uh, fourth dimensional slip. Okay, here's where we need to go. You have appeared, just like in my dream. The boy in my dream looked just like you. Let's go ahead and give her her hat back. Are you game dog? Yes. I must go on a trip to find my mom, and I need your help. So I've been waiting for you. First, let's go see what is happening in Youngtown. Anna, Daddy, goodbye. Next time, Mom will come back with me. Believe in us. And we get a new party member. Now, Anna is really, really good. Um, now you might have noticed in our PSI menus that we have exclusively be been getting, um, oh, when I learned that, that's kind of cool. We have basically exclusively been learning, um, like, supportive magic. Now, I'm pretty certain, I might be wrong on this, but Anna can learn, like, powerful magic, but I think she can also learn, like, offensive magic as well. Uh, she doesn't really know much right now because she's actually level one, kind of like, um, Lloyd when we first got him as well. So you know what that means, uh, let's take the onyx hook and let's head on back. Alright, let's give her that magic candy. Was the candy good? Pardon? <laughs> it's... Huh. Maybe you can't give her the candy, I don't know. <laughs> I know one thing we can get, uh, give her though. If uh, we go um, over here... There are a few guys over here and we saw this... Um, this, like, uh, was it you? Or, no, I think it was a cat up here that we're looking for. A ribbon. This magic ribbon will give strength. Magic ribbons are only for girls. Yep, so uh, as you can see, I the cat gave it to Anna, and, um... There we go, nice. That's pretty much the equivalent of the candy. I, I think that's the equivalent of the candy. I, I don't think you can actually get candy for Anna. I don't know. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And unfortunately, I will have to do a bunch of grinding again in order to get her up to the proper levels that I would like her to be. Because, like, you saw some of the enemies in that last area. They are getting very, very dangerous. Um, okay. Also, maybe I shouldn't fight this thing because it will explode on me. And I think... I don't think Anna's enough uh, health to actually survive it right now. This is a bad idea. Yeah, she's gonna die because... Yeah, she did. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yes. 
I still adamantly believe that this is the best grinding spot for this sort of thing, because, like, there's a healing area right over here. Oh, goodness, that was dumb. <laughs> that is not a good first, um, like, first battle for her. Actually, wait, I think a better healing spot is right here. No, 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 no. Oh, what was the people who were, like, serving steak? Now, please tell me this revives Anna. Oh, it doesn't. Alright. That healed both of us, though. Alright, we'll just come here. Free hospital, basically. Alright. Well, we know what I'm going to be doing off screen. I'm going to be doing some leveling in order to get um, Anna up to level... Oh boy, I'm actually not quite sure. Maybe 15? Maybe a little bit more? Um, I'll find out before the next episode. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.